Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix any PC game on your Windows computer. So let's just say you've got issues with Call of Duty crashing, Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, it can be absolutely any game, then the methods in this video will hopefully help. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you do have crashing issues with your games is just ensure you have the latest update installed for Windows. You also want to ensure you have the latest driver update for your graphics card installed as well. Now sometimes this can also be a bit misleading because it's like make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. However, sometimes the previous driver might be better than the latest. So if you do have the latest driver already installed, then roll back to the previous graphics card driver as the game might have been working originally with that driver. So yeah, you then need to wait until another new driver comes out that then resolves the bug or the glitch that's in the latest driver that's causing your game to crash. So now you have the latest driver installed or previous for your graphics card, Windows up to date. The next thing you want to do if you have overclocked any of your hardware is to remove those overclock settings. Now I've seen many times games crashing because people have overclocked their graphics card or their hardware on their computer. So if you're able to remove those overclock settings and then try launching the game again and see if that resolves the problem. Now only obviously remove the overclock settings if you know how. This also applies to XMP. Now in the BIOS you will see an XMP option. If you know how to disable this, then go ahead and disable it, as that can also cause issues. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is download a program that I created myself called Easy Game Utility. You can actually see it on my desktop there, you can see I've got free widgets with Steam, EA App Games and Xbox Games. So once you've clicked on the link in the description below and downloaded and installed Easy Gamer, you will end up with a window that looks like this. So as you can see, I am on the pro version, but that doesn't matter because what I'm going to be showing you does work on the free version as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is clear the cache for the game launcher that you're having issues with on the game. So for example, if the game I'm trying to play uses Steam, then I would click on clean for Steam and then this is going to clear the Steam cache. Now once I've done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to graphics and then do the same for your graphics card. So I've got an AMD graphics card, I'm going to click on clean and go OK. Now once that's done, I'm then going to do the same for the DirectX shader cache, click on clean and then that's all gone as well. So we've now cleared all the cache files. So the next thing that we're going to want to do, which you can probably already see it and it's quite obvious, is click on fix. So under games, there are some games that I've added, but there is also custom game fixing. So don't panic if you do not see the game that you want to fix. But let's just say I'm having problems with Minecraft crashing. Then I can simply click on attempt fix next to Minecraft. And this is then going to run through a load of troubleshooting methods. And then it's going to obviously apply them and with a bit of luck, fix the game and you will then be able to play it. So if I click on Minecraft, you can see there, it's just ran through, it's running through a load of fixes and it's now launched a Minecraft launcher. So that's all good. That potentially would have fixed an error or a problem maybe if I couldn't get Minecraft to work. Now, if the game isn't in this list, like I said, you can go onto custom game fixing. Now here you can browse for the .exe for your game. So if I click on browse, I would now find the games.exe that I want to fix. But just for this video, I'm going to use CPU set because like I said, this video is to fix all PC games, so it doesn't matter. You can actually use the shortcut as well, as long as the shortcut file does go to the .exe. So I'm gonna click on open, as you can see, this is the shortcut for CPU set. Now it's found the .exe there because obviously that's where the shortcut goes to. Once you've done that, the next thing that you'd want to do is select the launcher. So CPU said doesn't use a launcher, so I'd simply click on no launcher. Now if you have the pro version, you can click on this button here, the attempt deep 
config slash analyze, which just basically has a few more troubleshooting methods than you would get on the free version, which on the free version, you do only get like two attempts anyway. But that's enough anyway, because you will know after the first fix if it's going to resolve the issues with your game. And also, if you do buy the Pro, then thank you for helping and supporting me as a single developer. So I'm now going to go ahead and click on Attempt Fix. And straight away, you can see there things are happening with my computer. And the game's going to start in 15 seconds. It's still attempting to fix. You can see the progress bar is there at the moment. So we just got to wait a few seconds while it finishes off what it's doing. And there we go. Perfect. No errors. So that's good. Everything ran as it should. And you can see CPU said has launched as it should. So that's it. That's what you can do to fix any PC game on your Windows computer. I hope you enjoyed this video and it did help you out. If you did like the video, click the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more videos.